Hi, this is Anne from Design Bundles, and today I'm going to show you how to add flowers to a letter with Procreate and Adobe Illustrator. All right, let's get started. All right, first we'll start a new document in Illustrator. So I'll come over here to Create New, and we'll come up here to Print, and then we'll choose Letter, and then we'll come down here to Create. All right, now first we're going to type our letter, and so I'm going to hit T on my keyboard to get me to the text tool. And I'll just click once, and I'll type A. I'll get back on my selection tool and just drag a corner and hold shift so it keeps it proportional. Okay, so we want this pretty big. Let's go ahead and change our font. I'm gonna to come to the character palette, and if you don't see it, you can come up here to window and go to text, or type I mean, and choose character right here. And all of the other windows that you see over here can be found in the window dropdown. And really the only one that's kind of hidden are the type ones. Okay, so in character, I'm just going to choose times bold. This will give us a lot of space to add our flowers. Okay, and now we'll head over to Procreate so we can actually draw our flowers. Okay, let's open Procreate. I'll start a new canvas. And I like to make mine 2048 by 2048, but any larger size is going to work pretty well. Now I'm going to click on the brushes. And we'll go to calligraphy right over here. And I really like the script pen, so we'll choose that one at the very bottom. I'm going to increase my brush size a little bit, and then I'll start drawing the rows. All right, and I think this is looking nice. Of course, you'll want to take a little more time on this than I am. This is just for the tutorial, so it is not great. Some lines, it's good to get all your lines kind of the same thickness, and these are obviously really too thick. All right, and we'll add some little sprigs out here. Okay, and we'll just do kind of a similar thing on the other side. Okay, and this is looking good. So now I'm going to export it. I'll go to gallery, select, choose that one, and then share. I know I showed you PSD, but let's do JPEG here because it's kind of a more simple process. So choose JPEG instead of PSD. I went ahead and did that offline. And I'm just going to email it to myself. If you've got AirDrop set up to your computer, I recommend doing that instead, but I'll email it to myself and then just send. Okay, I'm back in my Illustrator file, and now I'm going to place our JPEG. Let's go to File, Place, and then I'll navigate to it in my Downloads, and I'll choose it and place it. I'm just going to click and drag and make it pretty big. And now I'll come up here to Image Trace. I'll click it once, and because we made such a large file, it gives us a really nice trace. Okay, let's go ahead and expand it. All right, now I'm going to hit my A tool. That is my direct selection tool right here. I'm gonna click on this outer white and delete it. We wanna keep the inner white everything that's inside these black areas there. Okay, so when we click now, we have the whole thing. Uh, it's grouped, and we can just resize it by holding Shift and clicking and dragging on a corner. Okay, and now I'm going to rotate it. I'll hit R on my keyboard, and I'll just kind of rotate it like this. I'll hit V to get back to my selection tool, and then I can just make it a little bit larger. I'm holding shift while dragging a corner to do this. I want it to kind of go off the edge, but also part of it be on the letter itself. And I like how my black areas just kind of fade into the black of the letter, 
but you can also add an outline. So I'm going to copy this and paste behind. That's Command B or Control B on a PC. And we can add a white outline. Oh, I just added a fill, so I'll switch those. Click on my stroke and then choose stroke over in my windows. And as I said, you can come up here and find all of your windows here. And I'll increase this. And then I'm going to round the cap and corner. I'll hold shift and select the front one so that we have both of them together. And if we move them, it'll move both the outline and the regular version. So we'll hit Command G or Control G to do this. All right, now we can move them around as we want and they stay together. I'll Command minus. And this is looking really nice. And I really love additions to letters. I think it's a way to make lettering a lot more interesting. Okay, if you like this video and you wanna see more videos like this, just hit the subscribe button and the little bell next to it, and you'll be notified every time a new video comes out. All right, I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.